Hey guys, PMHK here, obviously. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're an OG, welcome back. I make tech videos every week. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go and you do just that. Also, make sure you click the notification bells button so you can get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Now, in this video, we're looking at three iOS 15 uh, updates or features that it came with that I think are actually three of the uh, major or the dopest ones. So let's jump straight to feature number one. So uh, the first feature is called FaceTime Link, which is a feature that will allow you to actually use FaceTime on Android devices and most probably any device with a camera and an internet connection because it kind of shares a FaceTime room through the link that if you want anyone to join the room, you just share the link and you will be able to allow them to join uh, the link through the iPhone. Now, if you go to your uh, FaceTime app you can see right there new facetime and create a link i've already created a link that i shared with my android device and we're going to try and see if i can rejoin so i'm gonna open that link using my chrome uh, which should be already here and it's gonna give you an option to put your facetime name or the name you want to appear on the facetime call uh, so all you do is type maybe a PA there and then you go ahead and you join and when you come here join you're just gonna have to allow it uh, to join and it should connect right uh, anytime soon and there you have it I am on FaceTime call on my Android device pretty cool and also still on a FaceTime, one of the new features that they actually added is uh, for you to be able to do portrait mode when you are on a live call, which I am basically at it right now. It's like, as you guys can see, my background is actually really, really blurry. And this is the effect that's going to actually give you. And uh, you should be actually appearing much clearer on the other end or on the other person that you are FaceTiming with as phone. Now, the second update or feature is in Safari. Safari. Safari has actually been updated from the ground up, at least in the way Safari itself looks. Uh, if I can show you guys now how Safari looks, uh, this is the new uh, Safari. Safari. As you guys can see now you have the, the place that you enter the website is now really under uh, in the bottom which is actually much easier for reachability and other thing that I actually like now is when it comes to switching pages you just switch on uh, the side as you guys can see pretty simple and when you want to see all your tabs you just call and press the button and you guys can see i have 154 tabs open which is actually a lot but i love keeping my tabs open uh, just like uh, this and the third feature is called live text which is basically going to allow you to copy text directly from a physical item or something that is not really a uh, soft or on the phone itself let me let me give you guys an example i have this manual over here this is a owner's manual for my ac and all i do is i go to my camera i point it to the owner's manual and as you guys can see a little sign or a little icon popped up there and when i press it it actually copies the text itself or it gives me a prompt to copy select all or look up what's written there all i can do or some of the one of the things that i can do is copy text and i can go and paste it wherever i feel like in this case we're going to go paste it under my uh, notes paste as you guys can see, split type wall mounted air conditioner. This can come in handy if you are actually, let's say, writing a document and you just want to copy something from an outside printed already document becomes uh, much easier. Now, one extra feature that I've most probably not going to be able to show you guys uh, in this video because it's not even available yet in the states uh, is uh, in wallet now you will be able to add on your wallet your id card and as well as a 
key that you can use to unlock your house and there's also a key that you can add there that you can use these are digital keys that will allow you to open and start your car now these features obviously are going to be released first in the states the digital car key obviously the manufacturers are gonna have to add that feature to their cars before it can actually even work on the iphone obviously authorities are gonna have to authorize you to be able to use your id which is actually something that i really don't see coming anytime soon uh, to africa but those are actually a couple of extra features that i really think were that were really awesome and i really can't wait to try them out so yeah this is gonna be it for this video let me know down in the comment your favorite feature of ios 15 and obviously if you installed on your device i also want to know uh, how is it going so far otherwise uh if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure you do just that obviously click the notification bells button so you can get notified whenever i upload a brand new video and i am going to catch you guys on my uh next one peace